Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. All praise belongs to Allah alone, creator of the heavens and the earth. And may peace and blessings be upon the final messenger, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Today, all around the UK, many Muslims are facing problems. Many families are facing problems. Mothers and fathers are crying, complaining that their children have become disobedient, disrespectful, and the children have started to imitate the kuffar. How have they become like this by adopting the lifestyle of the non-believers? Some of the youth have become so neglectful that they will disrespect their parents, yet they will treat their friends like kuffar. My brothers and sisters, if you go to colleges now, there is a lot of free mixing. Muslim brothers will have relationship with Muslim sisters, vice versa. They become so arrogant that they will hold hands and hang around with each other in public with no shame. They, they would exchange numbers, BB pins and talk to each other day and night. They link up, go clubbing on weekends, like the Kuffar and the Eid. On Eid day, they will hire cars and hit the biggest clubs. Link other Muslim girls. They dress like the Kuffar. They will dance imitating the Kuffar. They will drink alcohol imitating the Kuffar having birthday parties like the Kuffar, unlawful sexual relations like the Kuffar, and regularly get drunk, get high, without feeling guilty. A couple of hours later, they will become so shameful, they will upload pictures on social networking sites, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, WhatsApp, telling the world about how mad the night was, yani how haram the night was. The Prophet ﷺ told us, if you have no shame, then do as you wish. This is happening all around the UK, my brothers and sisters. The Prophet ﷺ told us to oppose the lifestyle of the Kuffar. Yet so many of us are rejecting this. So many Muslims have rejected this. They are becoming exactly like the Kuffar. Seriously, they are not afraid of Allah. They are not afraid of the punishment of the grave. They are not afraid of Jahannam. Their Iman has gone so weak, so low. Because if they were afraid and if they were afraid of Jahannam, if they loved Allah, they would not do any action similar to this. Many youngsters have chosen this wrong path, that path of sin. When some Muslim brothers and the deen try to advise them, when some sisters try to advise the, the sister, they quickly reply, only God can judge me. Why? Because they don't like people advising them. They have become so arrogant. They have become so proud, so much pride. They will say, you're going into your own grave. I'm going into my own grave. So leave me alone. Let me live my life. However, it is the responsibility upon the Muslim to advise each other of good and advise each other to stay clear from the evil. They are inspired by celebrities. They are inspired by singers, by rappers. In this society, whoever has a bit of money is respected. Whoever has a bit of muscle, a good body frame, he is respected. Whoever is feared by someone, he's the big shot, he's the don. However, this is all false. Many youths spend their childhood looking up towards these kind of people. They spend hours in the gym trying to build that frame so that people respect them. They do whatever it takes to build a bit of reputation. They're inspired by that flashy lifestyle. They're inspired by these materialistic things, a flashy car, a BM or an Audi. They're inspired by designer wear clothing, all made by the Kuffar, the Gucci, the Armani. Yet they reject the clothing of the Prophet wasallam, the simple yet beautiful clothing. By Allah, this time has become so bad that some brothers, with some brothers you cannot tell if they're Muslim or not. You cannot tell if a sister is a Muslim or if she's a Kafi because of the way they dress, because of the appearance. This is the state of the Ummah today. The Quran clearly states that the life of this world is only a deceiving de enjoy enjoyment. Why is it deceiving? Because enjoyment to the means of sinning will deceive you through the punishment in the hereafter, will deceive you in the grave. But you rather enjoy a lifetime of maybe 60 to 70 years, maybe 80 years sinning and being punished for eternity. Or would you rather obey Allah and the teachings of Rasulullah the teachings of the Sunnah and enjoy Jannah for eternity? Allah has given you the choice.